Happy Halloween! What will be the scariest thing you will see all year for Halloween? Will it be Freddy Krueger? Will it be Jason Mask? Will it be Incredible Hulk? Will it be Frankenstein? Will it be ghosts and goblins, witches, the devil? What will it be? Certainly the scariest thing out there on October 31st, Halloween Day, and also the day Martin Luther posted his 95 Theses, will be none other than Pastor Fred Phelps of Westboro Baptist Church. Nothing seems to scare people as much as him. People are so afraid. It's unbelievable. He is the scariest. After all, his church is called the most hated family in America. Psychologists try to answer the question, why are we afraid of what we are afraid? Buddhists say the reason is because the universe is a mirror. They say we react to what we do because it is something out there in the world that is a reflection of what is inside ourselves that causes us to be afraid. And that is Fred Phelps to you. About 95% of the people are petrified of Fred Phelps. He represents something in their soul which they cannot control and they cannot justify and accept. But folks, I am not afraid of Fred Phelps. I look into the mirror and see Fred Phelps just like you do. But I don't react the same. He doesn't scare me. It's because I identify I see that part of existence in my soul. Although when you look into the mirror you may see something you don't like, on the plus side, you may also see an opportunity to change. If you look in the mirror and your hair is up, you can change that. If you look in the mirror and there's something on your face from lunch, you can remove it. Sometimes it may be more difficult to remove than that. If your teeth are too yellow, you can get Crest White Strips. If you are too fat, you can exercise. I find it very useful to have people like Fred Phelps out there because they are great opportunities for me to see how other people react. And I think if I want to get certain results, I'm not going to act that way. So I say thank you, Fred Phelps, for existing. Thank you for being there. Thank you for guiding me and helping me achieve my goals in life. Thank you, sir.